Good morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday to all of you. So, friends, I have amazing news for you today. Our federal government is finally giving back to the American people. Millions of Americans are now being promised a new $1,400 stimulus check this summer. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is making huge progress on the next relief package. Friends, this is your latest stimulus news and information. Please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for all of the details. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. If you would like to enter any of the giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. And friends, at the end of this video, I will be announcing the winner of yesterday's giveaway. So please stay tuned. It is an honor indeed to welcome the Prime Minister of Greece to the capital. Uh, Greece, as you know, has uh, been the source of democratic principles uh, since ancient times. Uh, they were a source of, of inspiration to us in the founding of our country. And then we were a source of inspiration to the Greeks when they established their democracy 200 and two years ago? One, one year ago, 201 year ago. We couldn't observe that two years ago, one year ago, because of COVID. Uh, but uh, again, uh, all the more reason to double down on our celebration this year. Yesterday, the President welcomed the Prime Minister, as you know, uh, to the White House in a beautiful ceremony of friendship, welcome, and respect. We do so here today with gratitude uh, to, for our friendship in NATO from a security standpoint, uh, with recognition for Greece's role in helping the Ukrainian refugees since the brutal invasion of Ukraine, and our fight against COVID and our approaching the challenge of climate. So for these and many reasons, uh, we have a lot to discuss today, uh, but we always like to say, we learn from the Greeks, the Greeks learn from us, and now we are together as democratic nations, very proud to welcome the Prime Minister, Mr. Takis, to the capital. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is a real privilege uh, representing the Hellenic Republic uh, to be the first uh, Prime Minister to be offered the honor uh, to address a joint session of Congress. Uh, you pointed out the common trajectory uh, of our two democracies. Indeed, your founding fathers uh, were inspired uh, by classical Greece. Uh, democracy was, after all, established uh, in Athens uh, 25 centuries ago. And then our founding fathers uh, drew inspiration from your... Uh Friends, here's some good news for those of you that live in the state of Colorado. So during an address to residents, Colorado Governor Jared Polis promised every Coloradan $400 refunds for single tax filers and $800 for joint filers. This extra relief money comes from the Taxpayer Bill of Rights refunds, which is called Excess State Revenue. The bill is called Senate Bill 233. Right now, the legislation is quickly making its way through the Colorado legislature. It will ensure that nearly 5.8 million Coloradans receive their extra refund check. This definitely isn't something that's promised every year, as these extra refunds are only given out if the state has excess revenue to dispense of. Governor Paul said in an official statement, $400 will help people now. Rising prices, gas at $4 a gallon, groceries costing more, inflation is unlike we have seen in a long time, and because of where the inflation is, we see it in gas, we see it in groceries, we see in the cost of housing, not so much on luxury goods. It's hitting working class Coloradans the hardest. Once the bill passes, the extra refunds will go out to six to nine months earlier than every year prior. The checks are mailed directly to the citizens of Colorado. The new method of calculating these extra refunds will put more money back into middle income households. Colorado Senator Nick Henriksen told reporters that the extra money belongs to the taxpayer, and this year a large amount of excess revenue is expected. He stated if the state revenue exceeds inflation and population growth, 
whatever amount is excess above that needs to be returned to the taxpayer. So friends, these refunds will go out six to nine months earlier than every year prior. These checks will be mailed directly to each Colorado resident by the end of summer, which is the end of August or early September. Senator Henriksen also said that the refund amounts will not be less than $400 for single filers or less than $800 for joint filers. The amount was calculated by the amount of people that filed their taxes and the amount of excess revenue collected. So friends, what are your thoughts on this $400 stimulus check? And do you think that our government is providing enough relief to help Americans with inflation? Friends, the keyword for this video is Florida. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Florida and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And just make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, my friends. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said that the House of Representatives will now consider two pieces of legislation to ease a baby formula shortage. During an interview with CNN News, Nancy Pelosi said that Democratic Representative Bobby Scott, who is the chair of the Education and Labor Committee, currently has a bill to alleviate some issues connected to how people can purchase formula. His bill would loosen some of the red tape, Pelosi told CNN News, pointing out that half of the formula is bought by women's, infants, and children recipients. Pelosi also acknowledged that right now is a very difficult time for millions of U.S. families, especially those that are in poverty. She also had stated to ABC News that Democratic Representative Rosa DeLauro is also putting together an appropriations bill. It would allow the U.S. to purchase formula from overseas. Nancy Pelosi noted and said that Mexico, Chile, Ireland, and the Netherlands have a formula supply on hand that may be immediately available. She made it clear that the federal government must do something as quickly as possible. Last week, the White House was said to be exploring use of the Defense Production Act to compel more formula manufacturing. However, Nancy Pelosi also said that she does not think that the Defense Production Act, as enacted, can be used for that. Well, my wonderful and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you. The winner of Monday's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway are Alan Foss and Francine Adams. Congratulations, my friends. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.